Here we go. We're going to hit the start button. So here, you might as well take the camera. And what we're doing here is we're going um, Press to, two on your thing to drive ourselves right out of here. Hopefully it doesn't move anything. anything. And uh, we're gonna drive to Florida. So if anybody ever wondered if they could uh, drive from New York to Florida without stopping, we are hoping to be in Naples, Florida by about four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So this is just us recording our little adventure as we've done in the past and we enjoy going back and watching these things. So the girls are gonna camp out back there. So here's the plan is we're gonna check in a few times on the way down because we've never done this before. Never drove even Half no, we never drove it this far at all. I think the most we've, I think the longest drive we've ever done was to Massachusetts. It was 10 hours. So this I is, left onto Cleveland Drive. This is going to be 24 hours and um, about, uh, I think it's 1,300 or 1,400 miles. So it's going to be a lot. And uh, Maggie will be driving, I'll be driving, Mama will be driving. Tom, do you want me to answer it? Oh, yeah, go ahead and answer it. In half a mile, turn right to merge onto I-90 way. Put it on speaker. Go ahead. Tom, what's up? Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot you a text when we get there. We are just, um, we're just turning, we're just turning on to the 90 now. Oh, that's nice. What do you girls think? Are you guys prepared for this? So you see all those clouds, so we're kind of heading into a storm system, which is not ideal. Now we have had some absolutely horrific weather here in Buffalo, New York. We've run through two blizzards just recently. One was on Wednesday, it was just white out for hours and hours on end. And we were glad that we didn't get that. This is going to be some light to moderate snow until we get just south of Kentucky. We drive at 60 miles an hour and six inches of snow, no problems. And we've been in places where people couldn't drive 10 miles an hour and an inch of snow. So it's just something you get used to. If we get into a, an episode of snow, we are not going to be to any advantage because the person in front of us isn't going to be able to maneuver and we can only go as fast as the person in front of us. Just like right now. Are we in Pennsylvania? Yes. One state down. How many states are we going through? We're, getting, we're, getting, we're in Pennsylvania, and then we're going to go through West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. So seven states total. He's got stinky feet. In two miles, take exit 20. Madison, give her some hand sanitizer. I don't have any. Just settle down. Use the right lane to take exit 22A to merge onto our 79 south towards Pittsburgh. Take the exit. there? Yeah. Madison, how did the uh, foot washing project go? 
It was a little, little bit hard because they ran out of paper towels. Mm. Don't talk about that. Maddie, when you wear Converse, Chuck Keys in particular, something about the canvas they make those out of. Anyway, we have to call Mike and Jenny. <clears throat> Why? Because they wanted us to. And they wanted to talk to us. And we're going to call them tonight and tomorrow morning. Mike wants to tell us all about his new trailer. Yeah. It's fine. It's a good burger. Thank you, Burger King. It is good. The men's bathroom was stinky. Uh, the women's wasn't that bad. I just think public bathrooms should smell like bleach and napalm. After Pittsburgh, are we going to West Virginia? Towards West Virginia, yeah. Mm. Well, look at that storm. Yeah, see. Pittsburgh is not a state. That's well, pretty rough. State, but like we're in Pittsburgh. I'm show the camera what we're looking at here. Trying to get through that storm. It's coming this way. It's in between us and Florida. It's mostly rain, but there's some ice and snow in there. It looks like as it moves this way, it turns more into rain. Yeah, it's running into warmer air. Yeah. Good, good. There's a very, yeah, like it completely dissipates except for one itty bitty spot. So hopefully it stays that way. Just outside of Pittsburgh. Three guys. hours in. It's easy. Yeah, we have 17 more to go. <laughs> I thought it took 24 hours. It's funny, one of the, I've been doing, doing a lot of YouTube searches, Marco Island, and like, you know, you search Marco Island, and next thing you know, you see some guy pulling a tiger shark in off the beach of Marco Island, and you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I guess we're not swimming. But uh, I didn't know tiger sharks lived down there. That's pretty crazy. Look at this. And here's we keep it simple. Yeah, no, that's it's a, mile 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 a whole mile long, huh? Kind of like the tunnel near our airport. So give us a trip. It goes straight through the mountain. Yeah, I was wondering. We kept going down, down, down into this valley, and I was thinking, how in the heck are we ever going to climb up over these mountains? No, that's pretty neat. so much salt ground right into the pavement that it takes a lot of coal to make a problem. But we were worried about it down here and we thought, man, as soon as we hit 32, we're gonna be sliding around. But we, we came on down to 33 and went right back up again. So thank goodness, check in later. No. What's wrong? Um, You're not ready? It doesn't matter. She's. Yeah, we're not trying to be ready. That's not the point. I'm not even in it. 
You're hungry? Oh, we have seven, a little over seven hours to go. Seven hours and 13 minutes is one way if we want to go down along the Gulf side, and then it's seven hours and 28 minutes if we go along the Atlantic side. So it's, it's six and a half dozen of the other. Six and a half Six and one half dozen in the other. Six and one half dozen. Tired. There's so many palm trees. There's palm trees. Yeah, so we, we drove, how long have we drove so far? What time is it? It's seven, 13 so 12, 13, 13 14, hours. 15, we're about 15 hours yeah. right now. We're at about 15 hours of driving. And there's green grass, there's trees with leaves on them. Yep. Watch this. If you're That's really 64 quiet. Degrees. If you're really quiet, you can hear birds singing. And there's palm trees. Look behind. Yeah, Maggie's gonna drive. She's gonna drive for a little while, probably right out of here because the weather is nice. And um Maggie is still driving. We haven't wrecked or gotten a ticket or gotten her license suspended or anything like that. But look, there's the line. That's Florida. That was our goal. Here it is, this bridge. This bridge. Yep, welcome to Florida. Florida welcomes you. The Sunshine State. Awesome. Look, Mama's celebrating because we got to Florida. I think you might have botched that, you know, six and one half dozen of the other. I don't think... That one was the faster route. What, the one we're taking? Yeah, that's what it said. Well, we went from arriving at two o'clock to know. arriving at five o'clock. I know, it's obviously a shitty-ass route. We think what might have happened is we got off to get gas... And it, set, it sent us from the gas station, instead of getting us back on the highway, it moved us over a couple of blocks. It's going to be a while, but we will hook up to 75, which is a major route. It's going to be a while? Like, how much is a while? Well, we've seen lots of little farmer's markets and abandoned shacks and alligator billabongs or whatever they are. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it's cute. It's, it's interesting. Backwoods, Florida, but I just kind of want to get there, you know? We'll show you. I'll show you if I can some of the little shacks and stuff that we've seen along the way. Right, Keep let's... right onto US Highway 301 South. Yep, 301 South. Sounds good to me. I just hope the speed limit increases beyond 45 miles an hour. Stopping. Stopping. The 48 miles continue straight on. What? I said I know there were some. There's a lot of maroon cars around here. You are right there too. And there's a Walmart. How you doing, Madison? We took a wrong turn and now we only have five more hours left. Now look at these places. They're just, I don't know how you could live in one of these places and in 95 degree weather in the middle of summer. You'd think they would just be stifling hot. No way to really get The foliage is beautiful. Look at the, the plants and the trees and the yeah, yeah, lots of junk, like junk cars and mattresses and chairs and different things. Hopefully that's not screwed up. I don't know. Here, girls, look. Uh -oh. Is that the stuff that that's hangs off? That's sphagnum the... moss. Spanish moss, sphagnum moss, I think. That's sphagnum? Are we saying it right? There's a bug right there that just got. Mosquitoes? I don't know. I don't think there's that many bugs in it. Some of the trees are almost 
like I think maybe being killed by this stuff it's like the only thing that's on the tree and there's entire like um, fields of trees just covered with this stuff and no Well, anyway, I thought it would have been cool, but I guess you guys don't like bugs. <laughs> no. Not when I just started reading about all of the, all of the um, poisonous spiders around here. All right. Oh, good. Why are we reading about poisonous spiders? I never heard of So we don't die. Proceed to the root. All right. Did we find a better? No. How long That's the way that they have oh, you going. We're just so, going to go. Country road. Here, country girl. <laughs> take me home. To places where I belong. West Virginia. Oh, we've already been to West Virginia. Their roads were way more better than this. Here we are. The uh, ride got really long. We, we kind of... I don't know if we got lost. We 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 but we off the original. Yeah, plane. we got we got disoriented because we looked at our GPS and it told us we were like three or four hours away, and all of a sudden we were like six or seven once we made a turn, and then we decided not to try to backtrack or anything, and we kept driving and. We it kept getting there. more and more desolate. We saw more and more horses, more and more pickup trucks. And the roads were terrible. They were really narrow. The speed limit was 65, except about every, almost, I swear to goodness, almost every mile, there was a little town that was hardly a town. Some of them were almost totally vacant, but they had a stoplight and quarter of a mile before and after the stoplight the speed limit went down to 45 and even right in the town it was like 30 and you just couldn't get in but I'll tell you what the ride got long the ride got long I was I was stoked we reached the Florida line no problem what was it like 14 hours 15 hours we reached the Florida Georgia line yeah. take exit 101 onto County Highway 951 in Florida 84 towards Marco Island this is our exit ladies and gentlemen Finally, 33 minutes left, and we might even be able to make it faster than that. Look at the jungles around here. Keep right. I'll turn this back on. Waffle House. Look at, look at, next four miles. Oh, the, yeah, mountain lions. You have to watch out for mountain lions around here. There's, there's a lot of them. I saw a sign that had a mountain lion. Yeah. yeah. It's a serious thing, man. Was. Madison, they pick you up and carry you away. It'd be like, where's Madison? Alright, so this is the apparently a bridge, not a causeway. It's a Marco Island. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, boating, people boating down there. Look at how big it is over here. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, wow. Look at that. Here's Marco Island. Yeah, there's Marco Island right there. A the little <laughs> tree. Oh, pelicans. Oh, pelicans. pelicans. I missed them. Almost got them. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh, and here we are. Beautiful. It's actually getting kind of cool. Yeah, it's 79 degrees. Oh, <laughs> that's super blood's thinning out already. <laughs> oh man, I gotta pee and take a freaking shower. soon. You guys can watch all the movies that happened in between when we got out of the car. 
just a second ago. <laughs> and now when we're back in the car, well, we had a great vacation. What do you girls think, one at a time? What, what, what's, what's the one thing you're gonna take away from this vacation? The sunburn. Sunburn, <laughs> yeah, we're all sunburned.